Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Champion Spotlight. Today's star is a legend in every sense of the word, and she's ready to crush her enemies in the name of justice. Introducing Xena, Warrior Princess. This fabled 90s warrior is coming to raid via a brand new feature, the Champion Pass. We'll explain more about this later, but first, let's see Raid's newest legendary champion in action. Our version of Xena is right at home in the Barbarians faction as a attack type force affinity champion. She's got her trusty sword and whip at her disposal, and of course, her iconic chakram. Let's see how she puts all these weapons to good use. Xena's first skill is a sword of redemption. With this, Xena attacks one enemy two times, ignoring 3% of their defense for each buff they have. If her target has two or more buffs or debuffs, then the mighty warrior princess will also ignore shields. Xena isn't about to let petty things like buffs stand in the way of doling out justice. Of course, we couldn't have Xena in raid without her trusty chakram. Her second skill is called Chakram Cyclone. Just like her first, this skill lets Xena ignore a portion of her enemy's defenses. Except this time, she'll ignore 5% of her target's defense per buff they have. The kicker here is that the Chakram Cyclone is an AoE attack, so she's serving up a storm of pain for everyone. Want more good news? That ignored defense percentage is target-specific. So if there's an enemy on the opposing team with four buffs, Xena's ignoring a massive 20% of their defense. Ouch! And if that's not enough, Xena will also steal 20% of each enemy's turn meter. Did I mention that this is unresistable if the target is under two or more buffs or debuffs? Well, it is. Speed and power, a deadly combination. Her third skill is Whip of Destiny and everyone's going to be feeling the sting. It's another AoE attack, hitting all enemies and ignoring a huge 10% of each enemy's defense for every buff on them. Whip of Destiny's cooldown will also completely reset if it kills two or more enemies, so time it just right. Want a really powerful one-two punch? Use Chakram Cyclone against a full team of enemies with plenty of buffs, and follow up with a devastating Whip of Destiny to blow them away. Finally, we have Xena's passive skill for the greater good. Whenever she uses an active skill, Xena's attack increases by 10%, stacking up to 100%. It does reset every round, but you'll be able to really make use of that extra damage against bosses. That sounds okay on its own, but we want more for a passive called for the greater good. There's also a 50% chance that Xena will change any weak hits she dishes out into normal, strong, or critical hits instead. The change is random, but anything's better than a weak hit, right? What's more, attacking a target with two or more buffs or debuffs will increase that chance to 100%. Still not enough? Okay, how about completely filling her turn meter? Still not enough? Okay, how about a 50% increase attack buff if the enemy team places eight or more buffs in a single turn? Now we're talking. Just as the enemies set themselves up, Xena's ready to knock them down. Xena's legendary warrior prowess is also evident in her aura. She increases all of her allies' attack stat in the arena by 33%. Now we've seen her skills, let's talk strategy. With two powerful AoE attacks and the ability to ignore defenses, Xena will be right at home in the arena against buff-heavy teams. That's not to say that she won't shine in PvE content. She'll benefit from the increased attack from For the Greater Good during long boss battles. Also, she has that chance to randomly change weak hits into normal, strong, or critical hits. As for gear, Xena will benefit from the good old-fashioned damage dealer combo of attack, speed, critical rate, and critical damage. She won't need accuracy as she has no debuffs to land, and her turn meter steals are unresistible if a target has two or more buffs or debuffs. As long as she has decent support, Xena can focus solely on damage. So now that we've whet your appetite, how do you recruit Xena? Well, as we mentioned at the start of this video, you can add her to your team with a new feature called the Champion Pass. It's very similar to the Forge Pass, but the focus instead is on a specific champion. Simple. As with the Forge Pass, there are two versions with two sets of rewards. A free basic champion pass and an elite champion pass available via a one-time purchase. There are daily challenges to complete which will see you working through the champion pass, with a whole host of awesome rewards along the way. Completing the basic champion pass will net you a sacred shard, 
and completing the Elite Champion Pass will add Xena to your Champion Collection. If you have the Elite Champion Pass, you'll also get any rewards from the Basic Champion Pass as well. Nate, this inaugural edition of the Champion Pass will start on November 10th and ends on February 4th, 2024. The Basic Champion Pass will be free for everyone to access, but you only have until January 5th to get the Elite Champion Pass. As long as you get the Champion Pass before January 5th, you'll have until February 4th to complete the Champion Pass and add Xena to your collection. That's not the only way to partner up with this legendary fighter, though. While the Champion Pass is live, we'll also be running dedicated Summon Boost events each week. On specific days, you'll be able to summon Xena from Ancient or Sacred Shards, depending on which boost is active. And that's all we've got for you in this Champion Spotlight video. We hope you're as excited as we are to add Xena Warrior Princess to your collection. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Raid. See you next time!